What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And what we're going to be talking about today is the Super Bowl MVP, Nick Foles. And, um, you know, if what you spent was worth it. Now, a lot of you guys, like myself, probably thought that the MVP of this uh, set right here was going to be uh, what uh, Tom Brady. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody thought, you know, who else? When you look at both teams, who did you really want to MB MVP of? Because Carson Wentz is not playing, so... Other than Tom Brady, who did you really want? Another grunk that's not going to catch the ball? You know what I'm saying? So it didn't really make any sense. So what a lot of you guys did and bragged to me about was you completed all these sets for these Super Bowl players or you bought them outright and you completed this set in order to get this guy that's going to be Nick Foles as the MVP. Now, a lot of you guys are raging uncontrollably saying that you can't believe it and you want my opinion. My opinion is that EA Sports got you. And they did you real dirty, too. Like, it, it was, it, it, yo, I know it's a long shot that Nick Foles would have won it, but if you already look right there, that's 319. This right here is 340. So already is six something. It's 600 and change, all right? No matter what they give Nick Foles, unless they give him like Nick Foles Jesus, it's not going to be beneficial for the amount of coins that you spent completing that set to get that token. And that's why I told you guys that I didn't want to do it. But then you guys, like, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll make a video giving you guys my opinion about a game, and then you guys will rage because my opinion was wrong as if I'm a psychic. I'm going to tell you what I think based on what I believe, how everything matches up. You see what I'm saying, guys? But a lot of you guys, I don't know if something's wrong with you guys mentally or what's happening, but you guys think, uh, oh, you're like, what happened, bro? Um, what do you, what do you, uh, the, the Patriots lost. So I what, what do you want me to say? I, I, don't, I don't know. I thought they were going to win. They lost. What, what is the problem? I'm bold enough to give you my prediction. You know what I'm saying? But either way, all of you guys that are running off at the mouth, you guys probably are some of those people that paid for that set hoping for a Tom Brady MVP. You see how contradictory you guys are? You guys are diehard Eagle fans, but you completed the set hoping for a Tom Brady card. But now you're going to get foals. Now you're finna get foals. And let me just explain to you what's going to happen when you get foals. He's going to throw a lot of picks. He's going to throw picks, bro. Throw a lot of picks, bro, right through your body. Bro, he's going to throw it right through your body like it's a hottie. So this is what we're going to do right now, right? Let's take a look because this foals right here, bro, is going for 365. You see the other one for a lot less, right? So obviously, the Super Bowl foals is going to have conductor. He's going to more than likely be a chain mover. And based on what EA does, they're going to plus two him up. What that means is all of the stuff that you see right here, it's probably going to be plus two. The throw accuracy deep. They might give you a 90 because of the throw that he made to Alshon Jeffrey. That was a straight hot one on row. Just a straight hot dot. Just so dot delicious. Just so hotty. Bro, so hotty the thotty. Like, it was really crazy. So he might get a 90 there, okay? His speed, he did run, you know, and run a route and then catch a touchdown uh, on fourth down. So I don't know what's going to go on with that. But other than that, his throw power, I don't, you know, maybe they'll plus one that, plus two that. But is he really worth the amount of coins that you guys spent? No. Because if you look at it, walk it to him, walk it to him once, is still probably the best QB in the game if you think about it when it comes to like speed and accuracy. Bro, walk it to him. You're not really getting better than walk it to him. You know what I'm saying? And he's at 695. So what do you think, what do you think Foles is going to, uh, Foles is going to cost? Somebody trying to put him for 672. So now with a Super Bowl MVP, even if you're excited and you're an Eagles fan and you just got back from whatever you were doing, looting the town or whatever because you guys don't know how to celebrate after a Super Bowl win, just think about this. And then also think about the fact that all you guys are saying, oh, yeah, what's going to happen next year? What are they going to do with Carson Wentz? Are you guys mentally impaired? Carson Wentz will start as long as he's available and ready to start. They geared the offense towards Foles. He executed unbelievably and he shocked a lot of people, including myself. I didn't think that Bill Belichick would allow Nick Foles to beat him, and he did. So, you know, I don't know where you guys are going with this. But if you think that Nick Foles is going to be like a stud, like how he was in that Super Bowl in Madden, that's what... Guys, when I'm talking about these cards, right, I'm talking about in-game, all right? Now, yeah, I made the prediction that the Patriots would blow out the Eagles, but that's just based on number 12. I wasn't thinking that the New England Patriot defense was going to go out into the field and just take a dump everywhere. That team sucked. Plus, I don't even know what Malcolm Butler was doing. What did Malcolm Butler do? Say hi to Giselle and Tom Brady got him benched? I don't know what happened. But that was like a whole wild situation. That What is Roe doing out there, bro? He needs to row his boat off that. Yo, that guy sucks. But that's neither here nor there. That's not what this is about. Let's look at these stats, right? I'm going to almost guarantee that... 
Nick Foles' card is going to be identical to these for the most part, except for the, um, the speed. Because you can just look at Nick Foles and know he's not a fast person. So they can't give him any kind of wild speed. He was a 74. They might make him a 76, 77. He is the Super Bowl MVP, so they might juice it up to an 80. You don't never know what's going on with EA. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't even know what exactly they think. Like, like, I don't know what's exactly going on with them when they, how their brain works, when they're actually at work. I really have concerns about the way that they manufacture this product, which is Madden NFL 18. So um, I don't know what they're going to do with it. But all I'm telling you is this. For everybody that spent all those coins and completed the set, EA got you. And you know EA got you. So even if you're like, oh, yeah, yo, G-Mai, you bet wrong. You said, yeah, I, I said wrong. You, you guys can go check out my podcast on my G-Mai's World podcast channel too. The link is in the description. I'm going to tell you guys, I made a prediction. I was wrong, but I own it. You know, yo, it is what it is. Betters do it every day in Vegas. You bet, you win, you lose, you bet, you win, you lose. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But guess what? Yo, nobody expected the GOAT to not be able to deliver with 221 left, bro. And you didn't either. So all the trash that you Eagle fans are talking, you guys knew with Tom Brady having two minutes on the clock, yo, Brandon Graham will get around there and touch that ball. You already know. You already know, bro. You already know what that GOAT finna do. But it didn't work out that way. Congratulations to the e Congratulations to the Eagles. But in my opinion... Once they release the, the Nick Foles Super Bowl card, which is coming soon, um, they say that it's possible that it will drop today, uh, uh, February 5th, 2018. If you're in Australia, for my viewers in Australia, it's probably, you guys are probably already in your, in your next day. So you guys got to you know, go correlate with the Eastern Standard Time of the U.S. Um, it should be dropping very, very soon. Okay, but all in all, if, I, if I'm somebody that didn't spend the coins on that set to get that collectible for the MVP... This is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have my coins ready to go, right? I'm going to go and I'm going to search quarterbacks and I'm going to go to the higher tier quarterbacks. And I'm going to see what the best is. What do they have to offer, right? So go to 95. Let, let's, just, let's just say 95, 94 to 95, right? Go to 94 to 95. Kurt Warner is a very, very good quarterback. I haven't used him, but I'm hearing that he's very, very good. But he's very, very similar to the quarterback that I use right now, which is why I can probably vouch that he is good because Phillip Rivers throws hot ones. And when I say hot ones, I mean it might burn you like fish grease in the deep south after you just did some crazy stuff under the hot sun and you got rabies. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that hot. And all that story that I just told you has nothing to do with how hot it is. But I'm just saying things because he's that hot with hot excessive dots. All right? So, Kurt Warner is pretty good. All right? Just looking at that throw deep, throw medium, you know, uh, throw short, I think he's a stud. Because Philip Rivers, you know, he does what he has to do. All right? So now, you go to Dante Culpepper. You guys are asking me, G. Maya, why would they give him 88 trucking? I don't know. And I don't know why anybody doesn't check them for drugs. You know, the people that are making the game. I, I don't know, bro. Like, why does he have trucking like he's a running back? I don't think I've ever remembered him trucking anyone. He was pretty big and fat, but I didn't... You know what I'm saying? He's like an overweight lover in the house and all that stuff. Where, where's the trucking at? Wait, let me just, I just want you guys to see it for yourself. Where is it? Juke move, spin move, stiff arm, trucking. He has an 88 trucking as a quarterback. So EA Sports either indulges in very, very high excessive amounts of drugs and alcohol or something else is going on. Because I don't know what's happening. But I'm just saying, if you like throw power and stuff like that, why wouldn't you go and try to, you know, get a Dante Culpepper? You know what I'm saying? He got a 92 throw deep. And this is, a, this is actually a very, very accurate card. Because he wasn't really good with the mid and the short. I don't know if you guys remember the championship game where the New York G-Men blew him out. He didn't know what, they locked up Randy Moss going deep, and, you know, Carter was getting locked up. They, he, they didn't know what to do. Uh, so Dante Culpepper just did what Dante Culpepper did. He was just a bum, you know, pretty much, and then that's the way the game ended. But is he worth a shot? If you like to throw the ball deep, probably. You know what I'm saying? It will probably work out for you. I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, but I'm getting, even this 94 overall, Carson Wentz, might, that's pretty expensive. You're probably getting for like 400K, but... He might be better than what the Super Bowl folds is going to be comparable. You know what I'm saying? Steve Young is trash in this game. Uh, Dan Marino, some people like him. I didn't. Um, Bo Jackson, I don't know why you'd ever have Bo Jackson as a, uh, uh, you know, why would you ever have a card that has, let me see what his throw deep is, a 68. Why would you ever have a card that has a 68 throw deep in your lineup? Now, that's all I really got to say about that. That doesn't really make any sense. But if you, if you have use for it, go for it. You know what I'm saying? If you think that you could run a read option scheme, a college scheme, and you can make it work, go ahead and do what you got to do. Deshaun Watson is going to be better. You know what I'm saying? As far as that goes, would you rather have a Deshaun Watson or would you rather have a Nick Foles? Because obviously you know that you need speed in this game. Deep throw is a little bit, uh, you know, you're like, what is that? Throw power 90. I believe the threshold is 88 because my Tom Brady, that was like tier one, the regular base one, he throws the ball just as far as my quarterback now with a 93 throw power. So 
Um, as far as that throw power goes, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, I would rather have Deshaun Jackson, Tom Brady. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys haven't spent the coins, you know, I, I really like the fact that they gave Dante Culpepper a 97 throw power, but I still don't think it matters because the way the game is designed, it just seems like the throw power, they all throw the ball to the exact same spot. When a guy's open, they throw the ball to the exact same spot. So that that's what I'm thinking right now. Now, it's going to be weird because he's going to be a 99 overall card, I believe. That's what I've been hearing. So I'm just giving you a, a glimpse at some of the traits and some of the cards. You see the Tom Brady's. You see all those other cards there. What can they possibly do to Wentz to make him that GOAT? You see what I'm saying? What can they do? It, it, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Um... I don't know. I don't know exactly. I got to wait to see what they're going to do. But I, I just showed you what his previous card was. If you guys are still excited about getting him, let me know, um, you know, what's going on with you. You know, if you already paid the money, let me know if you feel that EA got you and you didn't you didn't realize, even if you're an Eagles fan, that Foles will win the MVP. And uh, we'll see where it goes from there, man. But that's why I waited out with certain things like that because I've learned how to trust EA. Let me know what you're thinking. Until next time, one love.